Hello dear subscribers and watchers, what's up? This is Vivs from SlideNerd here. In this video, I'm going to talk about how to send multiple images from a folder inside your SD card to other applications that are interested in receiving those images. Now, let's take a look at what I have in my SD card pictures folder right now. So if you go to my phone, so there you go, this is the SD card directory structure which I have and if you go to the pictures folder right here you will notice that there are two pictures one is that of a Super Saiyan but the other one is that of the Arrow TV series so I'll be sending both these images in fact the contents of the entire pictures folder from my app to other applications or other things that you have on your device which are interested in getting those images so let's take a look at how that can be done so if you go to the graphical layout here I have already discussed a lot of the parts of these applications using intent since my previous videos if you guys haven't seen those videos please go back and check those videos so here we're gonna work with this button which says send images which is sending multiple images at a given time so if you go down there I already have a scroll view inside my relative layout to ensure that things don't go beyond the screen and even if they do you can easily scroll to the content so there's the button which has an ID called send images and when it's clicked it has an Android on click attribute which calls a method called process inside your main activity dot Java so this is the process method that we have so inside this process method I've written an if condition to check the ID of the view that was clicked if that ID equals r dot ID dot send images it means my send images button was clicked and inside this if condition I have to write code that deals with whatever I want to do for sending those images so let's take a look at how this can be done now the first thing that I need to do is get a reference to that folder pictures where I have those images stored and that is pretty simple you can easily do that by saying environment which is a class you have dot get external storage public directory now if you notice there are three different methods out here now I have already talked about these methods in my playlist on database tutorials on Android so if you guys are not sure about what these methods do and how they work please go back in the playlist in the database tutorials and please check these videos out which is Android internal storage where I discussed everything so here I'll simply say environment dot pictures so this is gonna give me a file object that is a reference to that folder pictures I can call like something like this file pictures equals to this now let's see what are the contents of this folder pictures which I have here on the left side for seeing that I can directly use a method by saying pictures dot list so as you notice it says returns an array of strings with the file names in the directory represented by this file so for now let's just try to print this data out using a toast and see exactly how that looks so I'm gonna say for over here use a for each loop when I say string picture from the list of pictures now for making a toast or for writing a log to be honest with you I got tired of writing the same thing again and again so I have a class here called L dot Java this has a method static method called M which is nothing but a log dot D waves and the message and there's another static method called S which has nothing but a context and the message and it says all the toast dot make text length long show and everything else so in other words I go here and I simply say L dot S to display my toast this time I give the context and the message over here which is the picture so this is going to be the name of the file now let's try to run this and try to understand exactly what is happening before that I need to pass this as the context here and now things look good so at this point I will run the app on my device so there you go if I click send images you will notice that there is the mobile robo super send or jpg and the other file name that just popped up now what we want is we want the full URI of these two file names so that we can have the URIs given as binary data to the intent now let me show you exactly what I mean here what I want is the full URI which is gonna be this name of the file which is already something we have here in addition to that it's gonna be pictures which is the name of the directory 
or the folder at the top I'm gonna convert that to a string and I'm gonna say something like this so right now what I have is pictures dot to string which is the name of the folder plus a slash and the name of the file now again let's just run this and try to see exactly what this looks like so at this point if I click send images as you notice there is a slash storage SD card zero pictures arrow and we are getting the perfect somewhat perfect format of our file URI exactly where the file is contained however this URI is not enough what we want here is we want the protocol that we are handling in Android when you're dealing with a file you you put a protocol at the front by saying file colon double forward slash right here so this is like saying that this is the file that I want to work with and so now the complete directory would be this file stuff and then the storage directory blah 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 folder and then ultimately the name of the file that we want right here with the picture and everything so now at this point instead of printing this on a toast let me remove the l.s statement here and what I want to do is I want to parse this as a URI so I'm gonna say URI dot parse and this is the complete string that I want to give here now I want to store this URI inside something I'm gonna say URI URI equals to null outside the for loop and I'm gonna store the immediate result inside this URI over here but that's not enough I want to add all the URIs of all the images to an array list and send that array list to other applications so what I'm gonna do is make an array list here I'm gonna say array list of type URI I will call the name of the list as array list equals to new array list so at this point inside the for loop I'm gonna add each perfect URI to this array list by saying array list dot add and the URI that we have here so at this point remember one thing the array list contains the full URI of every image inside the directory pictures of your SD card so now our job is very simple we just create the intent by saying intent equals to new intent and we specify the action as intent dot action send multiple so we are sending multiple items now the next thing that we need to do is we need to put our binary data inside this intent I'm gonna say intent dot put extra and the extra name would be intent dot extra stream which means that I'm putting some binary data for the value here the value in our case is gonna be the array list itself which is gonna be array list right here and that's all we need to do and now we can directly create our chooser which I've been talking about in all my previous videos I'm gonna say chooser equals to intent dot create chooser in other words show me a dialog that displays all the applications which can handle this intent object give that dialog box a title saying send multiple images now all I gotta do is start my activity with that particular chooser and our work is done so now let's take a look at how this works you can select this here click run at the top I'm gonna switch to my device here so there you go I'll click send images right now and it says no apps can perform this action now we have done something which is a slight blunder which people usually do and I did this on purpose so that you guys know what is the mistake we go here now and we set the type because we have to specify the mime type of the data that we are trying to send with the intent so I'm gonna say set type over here and inside the string type I'm gonna give the data as image slash star over here so this would work perfectly so now again let's select this click run so this time I click send images and as you notice the dialog box has popped up which is nothing but our chooser its title is send multiple images that we wrote at the bottom over there and it shows me a list of options now let's try to see what these options do if I select Facebook over here it's gonna pop up the Facebook images and it's gonna let me add those images by adding some post over there so I'm gonna cancel this right now again if I click send images and this time if I take something else like Google Plus this is gonna do pretty much uh, very similar to something what Facebook does I'm gonna again go back here discard the post again click send images now this time if you take Gmail let's try to send it with Gmail itself and the title I could have already given these values as well inside my intent by setting the text and the subject which we have already done so far and I can directly select that high and high over there 
so all I gotta do now is hit send at the top and now it says sending message and at this point if you see my inbox here there is already the high message with the high text and those two beautiful attachments that I can directly download and this time for some reason it is perfectly showing those image icons which it was not doing in my previous video when we said the same type so this is working perfectly so I hope you guys have understood how to send several images from an entire folder in your application to other things you have on your device the possibilities are endless you could make a backup app out of this that every time the user adds a new image you scan for that image you put it up somewhere on Dropbox or Google Drive or Facebook or whatever you want so in the meantime if you like what you saw Please like this video, share this video, subscribe to our channel and let us know your thoughts in the comment boxes below. Thanks for watching, we'll catch you guys in the next video again where we're gonna talk further about intents and different examples. In the meantime, have a nice day.